believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you that where I am, there it may be also. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while. And the world see you no more. But he see me. Because I live. He shall live also. My peace, I live with you. My peace, I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we're going to have the congregational hymn, No Tears in Heaven. No tears in heaven, no sorrow given, all will be going in that land. There ain't no sadness, all will be gladness when we shall join that happy band. Oh, no tears, no tears of them.
I'm going to ask the family and the rest of you, please remain standing for the opening invocation. Let's bow our heads before the Lord. Our gracious Father, we thank thee for the ties of love that bind thy children together and for the contribution this thy day thy servant has left among those that love her. Thou art the God of comfort. Look with compassion upon these who bereave today, whose hearts are bowed down in grief, my God. Give them understanding hearts that they may welcome thy grace and comfort. May this occasion be one of recommitment to thee, but thou are concerned about life in the past and in the future as well. May the fellowship of the church strengthen and support those who mourn and bring assurance of love to them in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Be seated. Thank you. We're going to have the first scriptural reading by Dwight Lang Jr. It will be taken from Mark 10 chapter, verse 13 through 16. Dwight, it's your time. Hello? Okay. And they brought young children to him. What? That he should touch them, and his discipline rebuked those that bought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was in much displeased, and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. Amen. This is the reading of the word of God. He suffered the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Today we are here to celebrate the homegoing of destiny. Jamiroko Lang, we call her Miracle. She is at home with the Lord. And as we can see, the peace of God is upon her. We know we will see her again. Amen. Amen. This second scripture reading will be taken from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verse 1 through 5. It will be read by Mr. Justin McKay. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want everyone to be seated. Get some chairs if you all need some chairs. You okay? At this time, we're going to have a very, very important moment. And uh, 
Brother Shafiq, you'll have to move out the way so that those behind you can see. If you're going to do pictures, please don't block them. At this time, we're going to do a slide presentation of the wonderful life of destiny. At this time, sit back, relax, and enjoy her. In Jesus' name. She's not going to make it. Hold her until she stops breathing. She only has a 3% chance of living. She won't be able to walk, talk, see or hear. Destiny. Three years later. I thought we had more pictures. <laughs> Did you all enjoy that? Her memory lives on. She's so beautiful. Hallelujah. 
God still worked miracles. He gave this beautiful child to Daniel and, his, and her father and to all of us for three long years. She has impacted our lives. She allowed us to fear God more because we could see the hands of God on her life. We know that God is a miracle. As you heard, the doctor said she wasn't supposed to hear nor talk or anything, but she beat the odds. Amen? Amen. For God is worthy. Let's give God a praise, people of God. He's worthy. He's worthy. And he, she's now seated around the throne of God. No one likes to lose a loved one. But the important thing is we're going to see her again. If we remain faithful to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It said on December 27, 2019 at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood, Florida, this beautiful baby girl was born to Daniel Chin and Dwight Lang. She weighed only one pound, one ounce, at 22 weeks. Her name was Destiny Jamarica Lang. Amen. 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 Destiny was given 3% chance of survival. Amen. Isn't God wonderful? Yeah. Come on, people of God. We know this is a funeral, but we know Destiny is not hurting anymore. She's not in any pain anymore. Amen. So we're going to rejoice with her because right now she's looking down on us, saying, come, mommy, I want you to come. Amen. But like he said, we've got to wait a little more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She has touched many people's life and more even when she's gone. She's going to keep touching lives all over the world. Amen. And this time, we're going to have some reflections. Praise the Lord. About this beautiful little angel. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. The first reflection we're going to have is from her grandmother, Mrs. Vita Lang. Will you please receive her? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is a sad heart I stand before you this today to say goodbye to my granddaughter, Destiny. It's just over three years she came into my life, a beautiful tiny rose dedicated with a will to live. She was a gift every time. Every time I see her, that brings my heart warm and smile to my face. My, my mom, her great-grandmother says, destiny looks just like you when you were a baby. Need I say any more? Destiny was a fighter. She didn't give up easily. She was a gift that was loaned to us for a short time. The Lord would see fit to take her back to her heavenly home where, will we, where we will see her again. I love you, sweet destiny, my angels in heaven. Praise the Lord. She's an angel indeed. Hallelujah. Are we going to have the second reflection from her wonderful aunt? De Amaya Chin. I don't want to pronounce the name wrong. <laughs> Praise God. We call her D. Yes. Whoa, Destiny brung out a lot of y'all. I haven't seen y'all in years. So this is so good. I just want to say thank you for coming out and supporting my family. We all love Destiny. Danielle's my best friend. So this is hard. 
I distinctly told them I did not want to be on the program, but God had other plans, right? So um, I wrote a little something. Um, I want to take a minute to thank Danielle for being an awesome mom and all her hard work. Danielle, you're more than a sister. You're my best friend. I remember two weeks after Destiny was born, we all had a meeting. Miss Lane was there. Um, Dwight was there. Danielle was there. We angels. We all had a meeting, and they told us that she had no brain waves. We shouldn't keep her because she had no brain waves. <laughs> Therefore, she would never be able to see, hear, talk, walk. We all cried at that moment. Um, Dwight and Danielle made a commitment to destiny. Um, she was in the ICU for seven months. Well, the NICU, I'm sorry. The NICU for seven months, one week, four days. Danielle went every day to take care of Destiny. She got discharged home with 22 specialist appointments, 17 medications. She had to have 24-7 care by some awesome nurses. Danielle became a, a, a NICU nurse herself when she learned how to use all the machines and the medication. I was so shocked that she learned how to use everything so quick. Danielle never missed an appointment. Destiny had several surgeries that was just unbearable to me to even watch. But I saw my sister go through all that pain and I saw her come out. Destiny was a fighter. She was a fighter. We had the pleasure of watching Destiny through TikTok or real life. We saw her eat through her tube. We saw her wear her little cute little purple glasses. We were able to call her name and her and be able to hear us. That's right. She breathed with a trach, but she wore some adorable clothing. Yes. Her hair was always fabulous. She had a big old smile whenever we played with her. We had so much plans for the future. Um, we was actually supposed to go to Disney World on December 17th. Um, she won a Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, she won. She was planning to get her passport to go to Jamaica to visit her godparents, Keisha and George. We had so much plans for her, but God had other plans. What we missed the most is daddy making these crazy faces at her so she could smile every morning. <laughs> Mommy praying every morning really loud to wake everybody up. <sighs> Destiny, we are grateful for you. We thank you for the three years you gave us because they told us you only had a little bit of time with us and you gave us three great years. So we have to be grateful. So we thank God for it. Our family is forever grateful for the support that we have received. We really appreciate it and we will love you forever, Destiny. Thank you guys for coming out. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God, people of God. Let's give God a praise. It's not by might. I know they had some awesome doctors at Memorial at Joe DiMaggio. But it wasn't the doctors. It was God. It was God who directed them. So let's, let's give God some praise in the house. Let's worship God. He's the giver of life. Hallelujah. He's the one that kept her. And he is the one who's with her right now. Praise God. Join with me as we sing. Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world. Oh, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Oh, Jesus loves the little children. Oh, all the children of the world. Oh, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Oh, Jesus loves the little children. Oh, all the children of the world. Oh, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children. 
children of the world. Praise God. We thank God that Jesus loved the little children. Jesus loved destiny. He's rocking her in his arms right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The songwriter just says, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Is that an amen? amen? Soon and very soon, we will see destiny again. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have another reflection at this time from her godparents, Ingrid Graham. Will you please come? Receive her, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As I'll say to Daniel, Destiny is my angel. At the entrance of my home in Jamaica, she's right there. Because there's nothing I don't say to Destiny. I always talk with her. I remember when I was going to do surgery, and that morning I told her, Destiny, I'm going to do a surgery. And Destiny teach me so much. She teach me love. She teach me no, not to fear, have faith. And she teach me to accept everyone as all they are. Danielle, I just want to say to you, you're a great mom. And I, this last thing I remember the day when we was on the road and we had the machine and the machine was about to die. And if the machine died, destiny would. And we rushed to that hotel and the manager said, what's wrong? And we told him and we plug her up. And then we were on her way. She's an angel and she's sleeping in peace. And... <laughs> oh, praise God. It is well. Yes. When peace like a river attended my way.
glorify your name. We lift you up. For you are worthy, Lord. There is none like unto you. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. it is well with destiny she's not hurting anymore she's not on the machine anymore she's not on any feet tube anymore it is well say it with me it is well say it is well it is well it is well hallelujah hallelujah it is well in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, He give life and He take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But as I will say to you today, in the few words that I have penned together. Christians don't die. That's a woman of God. Hallelujah. She's sleeping. Glory I said she's asleep. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. In the arms of Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is the one who gives conception. He's the one who gives life. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to have another reflection from Joe DiMaggio Children Hospital Palliative Care Team. Please come. Destiny's family. Um, we, we represent Joe DiMaggio. Um, I, I was one of Destiny's doctors and uh, had Thank you. and had the blessing of seeing her uh, grow from a, a baby until two weeks ago. And her mom. I, I knew I knew Destiny, but I really knew her mom. And this is about her mom. And she was very lucky to have have you and you're the reason that she's smiling in that picture and three years is short but three years more than she would have gotten with another parent so god bless you and god bless her we love destiny but we love destiny's parents and we love destiny's mom and I, I'm, I will always be her neurologist, um, her brain doctor. I had many difficult conversations with mom, conversations nobody wants to have. But, you know, after every conversation, we would always spend time enjoying the beautiful things about Destiny. And, and Destiny always had the biggest, most colorful most in time like you. She always looked so beautiful. Her mom was always there taking care of her. And um, even though she's sleeping, her spirit is awake because I feel it right now when I feel older. Um, and she's loved and will forever be loved. I was fortunate enough to be there the day she was born. And walk beside her wonderful parents 
<laughs> her mother and her loving father who loved her so unselfishly and so wholeheartedly and her aunt Dee Dee and all the beautiful family. So I feel blessed for all that you shared. God bless. Hi, I'm Dina. I am also a social worker with the palliative care team. We've known you since the moment Destiny was born. And like the doctors, we've had very difficult conversations. And you are just the most amazing mom. You always fought for her when things looked so bleak. And we just were so impressed and moved by you, by the love and the dedication. And she was always the most beautiful girl there. She was always dressed, always had her bows in her hair. But this is really a true testament to you and your family and how much love you gave to her, you showed to her. And she did have more than three years of her life and we never expected that. So I just wanna say, God bless you, your family, and thank you. And we're gonna be in touch because you're gonna come back to Joe DiMaggio as a parent advocate, right? And you're gonna support other moms too who have been through the same thing. So thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God gave destiny to the best family. Because, yes, you need to clap. Yes. Knowing Brother Percy and uh, Sister Chin for the kind of heart that God gave them. Their children could not be any less. Amen. Amen. That's a blessed mother and father. And the children are blessed. And so destiny came into a blessed family. Yeah. And we want to thank God. Because I see how his sister Jane serve and take care of everyone else. Amen. Amen. And that's only love. Amen. 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 A lot of people use the word love very loosely these days. But they don't demonstrate it. But there is love in this family. This family demonstrate love. They don't talk love, they show love. And we thank God for the, the Chin family. Amen. Amen. Give them a clap for me, please. <laughs> Amen. At this time, we're going to have a solo by Simone Allen. Please receive her. Good morning, everyone. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Um, where do I start? I was telling myself I was going to write down, but I'd rather speak from the um, heart. My nerves, but I am going, God is going to give me the strength to pull through. I remember when destiny came. Destiny came a day before Daniel's birthday. And you know, we were here from the start. Daniel is a phenomenal person. She will stand and ride for any and everybody. Once you need her, Daniel will show up. And we rallied around Daniel. We are part of Daniel's support team, part of the family. So when Destiny came, I said, what am I gonna do as Destiny auntie that, you know, I love to sing, so I'm like, okay. 
They gave Destiny this, the, the chance, oh, she's not going to hear, she's not going to do nothing. And I watched with my eyes. When I couldn't see, Daniel would tell us what's going on. And I came up with this song, and every morning, and every time I said, Daniel put the phone near to Destiny. And I would sing, good morning, good morning. I love you, good morning. Yes. God bless your day. say I went when destiny came home and I went to crib and I went and I sang and I sung that song and, and, and that smile and I said but God destiny did so much so much what they say she couldn't do enough feet when, when I go to the house and I say destiny and I sang the song and if I move my hand to the left destiny was to the left and if I move my hand to the right yes. destiny and said, I have bad news. The doctors say um, today is the last, might be the last day. And, and I text Daniel and I say, God is a keeper. And God, it's not done until God is finished. Amen. And then on my way from the, my, my, I was at the salon because I work in the salon. Daniel is like my sister. We, we don't leave each other out of nothing. And my client know destiny. Everybody love every client client no destiny we talk about destiny i used to bother daniel and say daniel it's like three years you haven't been to the shop and but the only reason why i'm not gonna cuss you out every day is because of destiny we love <laughs> destiny and i am good with numbers and the bible said we should learn to number our days and i can tell you destiny number destiny god gave destiny three years one month and 22 days on this hurt and daniel did not miss a beat in nothing that destiny had to go through that is always Grandma and the grandparents are always there in Destiny's life. And when my client and I was praying for that chance, when, that's, when I got the call and said she's gone, I didn't know what to tell my client. I'm like, no, maybe Daniel. No, no, no. I, I was nervous. I was frightened. But you know what? I prayed, and God gave us the strength, and he's given us the strength to keep moving forward because we have happy times with Destiny. And I'm going to sing this song. It's Daniel's favorite. And it has to be Destiny's favorite because I always say to Daniel, <laughs> Destiny is your twin, twin, twin. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. close like no other other as a friend I have lived in the goodness yeah. all my life you
love you in his life God have been faithful yes hallelujah thank you sister Ingrid you need to use a talent for the Lord amen praise the Lord hallelujah at this time we're going to have the obituary read by her wonderful Godmother Ingrid Graham. On December twenty seven, twenty nineteen, at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood, Florida. A beautiful baby was born to Daniel Chin and Dwight Lang, weighing one pound, one ounce, at 22 weeks, five days. They named her Destiny Jamerica Lang. Destiny was given a 3% chance of survival with the support of priors, family, friends, and the excellent medical team at Joe DiMaggio, Destiny was discharged home after seven months, one week and four days. We watched Destiny grow into a butterfly who no matter what she was going through, from seeing 22 specialists and being in and out of the hospital, Destiny always had a smile on her face. On February 2022, 20, on February 22, 2023, at age three years old, Destiny lost her battle peaculely, transitioned back into the loving arms of Jesus. We thank God for the happiness, love, and joy that Destiny brought to our life. She lived to mourn our loving, devoted, and caring parents, Daniel Chin and Dwight Leng, grandparents, Mr. and Mistress Percy Chin, Mr. and Mistress Leng, sister, Dezima Leng, brothers, Dwight Leng, Jr., Trayvon Chin, and Marquis Chin, devoted aunt, Dahima Chin, great grandparents, and a host of hands, uncles, cousins, relatives, and friends. Destiny, we love you. Can we just bow our heads in a moment of silence on behalf of Destiny? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessing on us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we're coming down. We're going to have a selection by the Ebenezer Praise Team. And then the next voice you'll hear will be the word of God. I hear the sound 
of a mighty rushing wind and it's closer now than it's ever been I can also hear the trumpet as Gabriel Sound the call, and at the midnight cry, we'll be going home when she.
not cry. The bride of Christ shall rise. Can you just stand with me as we bow our hearts in prayer? The family can be seated. Heavenly Father, we do appreciate you. We love and we adore you. We bow our hearts in worship and adoration unto you. For you are the almighty God. The everlasting Father, the great I am. We thank you for your holy presence here with us today. And we thank you God that destiny is in your hands. As your woman servant is about to minister your word. I surrender all to you in the name of Jesus. I submit and I surrender my voice, my mind and my thoughts. I admit and I acknowledge that I can do nothing without you. So Holy Spirit of God, I invite you to speak for me. Speak through me and speak to us. For in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word is God. So Spirit of God, I thank you for what you will do here today. And as we come to the conclusion of the word, God, if there is someone here who don't know you as Savior and Lord, that they will say yes to this call. I thank you now and I bless your name. And I say thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I thank God for this vessel. Will you please turn your Bibles with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14. <clears throat> For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, all God will bring with him. Amen. If we believe that Jesus died and he rose again, mm -hmm, that we should all alive, acknowledging, I'm reading the wrong verse, even so also shall sleep in Jesus, God will bring with him. What the word of God is saying that he died, Jesus died on the cross. Will you please have a seat over here? We know that he came from heaven to earth to show us the way. For we were all lost. We were all undone. But he did not just die. He rose. Amen. So we are not serving a dead God. He's alive. He's seated in the right hand of power making intercession for us. So today, the thought is, hope in the resurrected Christ. Death is sometimes described as sleep. In the Old Testament, the kings usually said that after someone died in high rank and authority, you say they sleep with their fathers. When Lazarus died, Jesus told his disciples that our friend Lazarus asleep. What he meant that he was dead. And so this text provides a great comfort to Christian believers who are grieving for fellow believers who are falling asleep. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians because they were worried that they who, those who died would not see Jesus. So he, he assured them that yes, at the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. Oh, praise God. And the dead in Christ shall arise. And they that remain shall be caught up to meet Jesus in the air. And there shall he ever be with the Lord. So he sought to give comfort by pointing to the Thessalonian Christians the certainty of Christian hope. We who believe in Jesus, we have a lively hope. Amen. That is not the end. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we leave this old world, we just change our address. The flesh goes back to Mother Earth, but the spirit lives on. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we know that we reign with him. We sad, yes. We groan, yes. We grieve, yes. Because Jesus wept at the grave of Lazarus. But we are not grieving as those who have no hope. Amen. Because we believe that Jesus Christ is alive and well. The Bible said they place him in a borrowed tomb. Muhammad is dead. Yes. You can go and look at his mark. You will see bones in there. Hare Krishna is dead. Oh, praise God. Hesilas is dead. But Jesus rose from the grave. He's alive. And those of us that believe in him, little destiny, she's with him. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. This is the hope we need to be reminded of this morning, this afternoon, as we grieve for little destiny. It was this hope that gave her such strength. Even when she was weak, she was fighting. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And this is the hope she would want all of us to proclaim today as we cling in faith to Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers in the Lord, we can have hope because Jesus died. And we can have hope because Jesus rose again. The Bible said early in the morning, Mary Magdalene, in John chapter 20, she went to the sepulchre seeking Jesus. And the angel said, whom do you seek? He said, I seek Jesus. He said, he's not here. He's risen. Come see where they laid him. She ran and told Peter and the other disciples that Jesus is risen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I'm serving our living God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 He conquered death. Yes. Death was the last enemy that Jesus conquered. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we in Christ, we don't die, we just sleep. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We don't have to go to his tomb and cry because he is not there. He's risen. Yes, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Paul explained that we can have hope because Jesus not only died, but he rose again. Death is a curse that came through sin from Adam in the garden. When God created man, I mean human, he created us to live. But when sin came in man's life, that came upon mankind. He said the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So death is a curse. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we Christians, we need to rejoice that we, we, we are going to leave some loved ones behind. But we are not dead. Amen. She's sleeping. Hallelujah. Her spirit is in heaven. This flesh goes back to the earth. Oh, glory to God. And if we remain faithful to God, we will be with her one day. Amen. We will talk with her one day. Yes. We will laugh with her one day. Yes. And the parents and the loved ones should make sure that they are ready. That when the time comes for the transition, they will bid this world goodbye. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 God demonstrates his own love for us in this. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died. In Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, hallelujah. And when he died for us, he gave us an opportunity to believe, to trust and to give our hearts to him. And I'm speaking to those of you who are here today. 
who don't know Jesus as your Savior and Lord, it's not too late. This is what destiny will want. Because she wants to be with you. He, she loves you enough. And if you love destiny, you're going to do what is right to be with her again. Amen. And when I say that, I mean giving our hearts to Jesus. But salvation comes through no other way but through Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus died for us. He suffered for our sins. Which means instead of condemnation, we have salvation. Amen. Praise God. Instead of death, we have life. Instead of fear, we have hope. Can somebody bless the Lord today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Remember, as I said, Christian, don't die. Because we only sleep. We'll hear that call from heaven. Come home, my child, for it is supper time. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Some people have no hope. They're taking their lives. They say life is no good. Don't make sense for me to live. But it doesn't matter what we go through. As believers in Jesus Christ. He said if we suffer with him. We will reign with him. Yes, because we know this is not our home. We are passing through. Yes. Oh hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This song writer said in the old time chorus. I'm going home on the old and, and the gospel train. I'm going home. Hallelujah. This hope is fixed. Not on us. But on Jesus Christ. This is based on the fact. Of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Not on feelings of the individual. We have hope. In the face of death. Daniel. The father. Sister Chin. Brother Chin. The grandparents. The loved ones. I want you to hold on to that hope today. Hallelujah. You're grieving because it's natural. You're hurting because it's natural. But I want you to hold on to the hope that is not over. Amen. It's not over. You have to believe that she's with the Lord and you're going to be with him one day if you walk in obedience to his word. Hallelujah. 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 We have hope in the face of death because Jesus died and he rose again. Hallelujah. If he didn't get up out of that grave, we Christians wouldn't have any life. We wouldn't have any power. But when he got up out of the grave, he got up with power. Oh, hallelujah. 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 That's why he said in Philippians that the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess for Jesus Christ is the only Lord. Somebody worship him up in here. He deserves our praise and our glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came so that we would have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Do you have this hope this morning? Do you have that hope? In spite of the storm that is blowing in your life, you have something to hold on to because, hallelujah, you're going to ride out your storms, have a weeping on and door for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I wish you would praise God with me. I wish somebody would shout Jesus up in here. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Weeping and do for a night. But joy is coming. Do you have that hope? Oh, hallelujah. 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 Romans 6 verse 8 says, Now if we die with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. If we die with Christ. And the dying with Christ is not a physical death. It's a spiritual death. That we surrender all to him. We believe that Jesus died. We believe he rose again. Christ will return. And those who have died in him. Will return in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends as we grieve today. 
Hallelujah. We can say that we have great hope because we know because he rose from the dead, you and I are going to get up. Amen. Yes. You're not going to be in this cemetery. The bones will be there, but she will not be there. Amen. Uh, do you believe that? Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. If you believe that, give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So let our tears of sadness be mingled with tears of joy. As we rest in the assurance and certainty and the hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Today, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, let us live like it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like it. Live like it. Love like it. Walk like it. Behave like it. Hallelujah. Rejoice like it. Have hope like it. Because he's coming back again. Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. I know some of you, will, this will be the only time you visit the church. Amen. But if you are not a Christian, the word Christian means to be Christ-like. It's obvious. What do you need today? And I believe this is what destiny we want for you today because she's waiting for you in glory. Turn to Jesus today in faith because without faith it is impossible to please him. Let me say this. Going to church don't make us a Christian. That's a misconception. The devil comes to church before we get here. Yeah, and he's sitting right beside us right now. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. So going to church don't make you a Christian. Have a title don't make you a Christian. He said clean hands and pure heart. Hallelujah. He said, one new commandment I have given. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. If you love, you don't hurt. That's what makes us Christians. We love each other enough not to hurt them. Praise God. Turn to Christ in faith. Repent of your sins. Ask for forgiveness. Jesus will forgive you because he would he love us for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life everlasting life is a life that we spend with Jesus no more pain no more medication no more hurt, no more doctors. It will be joy and speak of and full of love. That's eternal life. He loves you so much that he died on the cross to give you life. Your, 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 your forgiveness is guaranteed. Just turn to Jesus today. And receive him as your Savior and Lord. Mm -hmm. Today, receive Jesus if you don't have him. So you can start living this living hope. This hope don't come from a textbook. This hope don't come because you speak positive words over your life. No. No. This hope comes only from Jesus who rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Paul said to the church, he said, you don't have to weep as if you have no hope. For the die is gain. He said, because Jesus is coming back, for you 
if you die in Christ. He said, one day the trumpet of the Lord is going to sound. Hallelujah. And the dead in Christ shall arise. And they that remain shall be called up. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, brethren. What a day that will be. When my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. What a day. A glorious day. That will be. Do you believe? In the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Do you believe? The destiny is already resurrected. Her spirit is not here. Only her body. And we must love her enough to do what is right. And what is that? The right is to serve God with our whole heart. To love God. To love Jesus. To obey his word. Amen. For his word is a lamp unto our feet. And a light unto a path. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Father God, I praise you. Father, I glorify you. Oh, I exalt your holy name. Hallelujah. If one is here today and you don't know Jesus, please repeat this word after me if you want to because you're not coerced. It's not about church membership. It's about a heart transformation. Say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. But I realize that I need a Savior. I believe that you are my Savior. Today, I ask you to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I want you, Lord Jesus, to be my Lord because I want to see destiny again. I want to reign with you again in Jesus' name. If you really said that and you mean it, you are saved. Hallelujah. You just find a Bible believing church and get the word and grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with mine. Can you stand with us? As the days go weary, the long night dreary, I know my Savior at this time Pastor Shinneman is going to pray for the family praise the Lord praise the Lord Abba Father as we come before you in Jesus name I ask you Lord to cleanse me and wash me and Holy Spirit I ask that you pray through me Lord God I thank you for this beautiful servants Lord God Almighty for destiny Jamaica lane i thank you god for the life that you have given this little girl and i thank you god for the family that you've put her with Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, that as I pray for the family right now, that Holy Spirit, that you will comfort them. Your word says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. My God, I pray, Lord God, that your love will envelop them right now, Lord. That, Lord, that they will feel your comfort, your loving embrace, Lord God. That they will have your peace that only comes from you, Jesus Christ. 
Lord God, comfort her siblings, Lord. Comfort her family, her parents, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that Lord, that with this death, death Lord God, will come your everlasting life. I thank you, Lord, for all you're about to do. I even pray, Lord God Almighty, for Danielle, Lord Jesus, and the parental advocate, that, Lord God, that you will do a work in and through her, Lord God, with other parents because of the blessing that you've given her and her family. I praise you, I glorify you, and I thank you again for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remain seated. We're going to have acknowledgement by the Eric L. Wilson funeral home must jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free certainly there is a cross for everyone and certainly there is a cross for me to apostle williams we certainly thank you for these encouraging words to his family and this encouraging sermon to the minister that so elegantly graced his pulpit, we certainly say thank you to the musicians that have rendered us songs unto melody unto Zion. We certainly say thank you to the Memorial Hospital staff. We certainly say thank you and to the friends that came to be with this bereavement family in their hour of bereavement again we certainly say thank you and to this bereavement family again on behalf of myself eric l wilson and the entire eric l wilson funeral home staff family we want you to know that we cared for your loved one simply as if she was our very own this does conclude the funeral services uh, for mrs destiny we will be traveling to the cemetery. I'm going to give you the address, and we ask that you would so kindly meet us to the cemetery. Those of you that would like to put the address inside of your phone, you're more than welcome to, or you simply can follow behind the hearse. But I'm going to give you the address to the cemetery if you'd like to travel to the cemetery ahead of time, okay? The cemetery is going to be Fred Hunter's Hollywood Memorial Gardens. And the address, for those of you that would like to put it in your GPS, it's 3001 North 72nd Avenue. That is in Hollywood, Florida, 33024. Again, that is 3001 North 72nd Avenue. Hollywood, Florida, 33024. At the conclusion of the disposition services at Fred Hunter's, this family will have you to join them at the repass, and I will give you the address to the repass for those of you that would like to attend the repass. That address is going to be 4511 West Hallandale Beach Boulevard, West Park, three three zero two three again that address is four five one one west hallandale beach boulevard west park florida three three zero two three finally there is a silver honda that is parked right there ma'am we're going to ask that you please pull your car up so that we can load the flowers and her at this time we're going to turn the hands back into our pastor for the final benediction. And if Paul Bears would meet us right here, please, to escort Mrs. Destiny and the flowers out. Pastor, back in your hands. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, do you want to acknowledge um, read the cards of the flowers? Want us to read the cards? Yes, oh, please. absolutely. Okay. So this flower says to my dearest granddaughter, we love you, and we wish you from your great grandmother, the right aunt Marcia. Amen. This beautiful standing spray says, with sympathy and love, from Apostle Faye Williams and EDT family to Sister Chin and family. I can't. 
Okay, so this lovely uh, flower basket is from her father, Mr. White. Uh, Mr. White is sitting here on the row. This symbolizes love. So uh, this is a Minnie Mouse. Mom told me that uh, her daughter's favorite character was Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Uh, so I had this made for mom, um, you know, with the balloons and the Minnie Mouse. So this actually is from me uh, to the family. So we had that made. And the casket spray uh, is what the family ordered uh, from Mrs. Rosie's uh, floral um, company. So the family did purchase the casket spray. Okay. Praise God. Okay. At this time. Oh, I'm sorry, the Baines family, Lane family, I'm sorry, purchased that casket spray. Can you proceed to closing? the benediction um, the funeral director gave you um, the address for the cemetery and the repast um, if you're following the hearse please keep your lights on I don't know if we have escort outside but keep your lights on so that you will know that you're part of the procession and we uh, after the benediction I'm going to lead, follow the casket with the family behind me. I'm going to ask you to give respect in the name of Jesus to the family. Amen. Don't rush in front of them. Give them a chance to get out here first. Then you can follow in order. Amen. 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 We have Paul Bearers, who's going to be Dwight Lang Jr., Melvin Davis, Travion Chin, and Marquis Chin. As soon as the casket get to the door, we're going to be going through this exit door. They will put
this beautiful casket in the hearse. And as many of you who would like to come, you are welcome. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his salon, which is his peace. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the blessed Holy Spirit. I never say goodbye. I never say goodbye.